Yo guys, so today we're watching Umpaville or Umpaville. I'm not really sure how to actually pronounce it, but it looked like an interesting thing. So I wanted to watch it with you guys. Wholesome TikToker arrested. <laughs> Let's see how the heck this even happened. I have yet to ruin my career. I inevitably will by making some sort of mistake. Are you aware that Caleb has been scammed? Will you forgive me? Do I deserve to be forgiven? Will my beautiful darling daughters, Frankie and Petrie Griffin, Will they forgive me and love me for who I am? They're getting big! <laughs> it's one of the problems. trickiest parts about having any sort of influence or fame or whatever you want to call it, a content creator, anyone, big time celebrities like myself. If you have a significant following, the double-edged sword that is public exposure is there all. See, I don't got none of that. I don't got none of that. Yet. Yeah. It's kryptonite. It's actually what it is. When one of these people has a bad day, it doubles that kryptonite level. It can get really upsetting. For most people, if they have a bad day or like an outburst, they break on somebody, they yell at somebody, they, they see red, it just fades, people forgive each other. But if you do something and it gets caught online, woo it can be really, really, really bad. Take, for example, PewDiePie's bridge incident that changed the face of YouTube as a whole. What a fucking bit of a slip up. I've got to be honest. Hey, what? I've never seen that. I, like, out of all the years on YouTube, I have never seen that once. We also have Tobey Maguire's paparazzi rage. Mm, I'm on his side with this one now. Also, Justin Bieber. Okay, that makes sense though. Man was like straight in his face trying to take a picture. Like, bro, man trying to drive and drive safely. So that makes sense. That does make sense why he decided to do that. Lashing out at paparazzi for calling him a cock. Also on the, on this side, I hate the paparazzi, but it's just an example of the news being able to twist you being an asshole, allegedly. Fuck you, little cock. Fuck off, Fucking little moron. What'd you say? You heard what I said, man. What'd you say? You heard what I fucking said, mate. You have to be on your best behavior all the time, or you'll have bad things written about you. Call me a again. Call me a again. Yeah, you guys did nothing wrong. I said shut up. No, you shut the up. You shut the up in your. You shut the. Film me. I'm Instagram famous. You bum. But this goes to. Okay, I remember that one. That that was just funny to like watch in the first place because I don't know why. She decided to act like that in the first place. But well, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Another level, you know, just slipping up and having a bad day and saying the saying the N word. That that's that's bad, obviously. But like some people go to jail for stuff that they do. Put both of your hands out the window, Kim. We're not f***ing with you. I don't know who I am. Nope. For example, the recent YouTube mom known as Ruby Frank, who is going to jail for abusing her children. I don't know if she's in jail yet, but that's f***ed up. This woman is absolutely. Evil now, Frank. I'm pretty sure she is in jail. I'm pretty sure she already got like tried and that they put a sentence on her. I'm not entirely positive though. Frankie is, of course, the 41 year old YouTuber mom who is now charged alongside her business partner Jody Hildebrandt with six counts of aggravated child abuse with respect to two of her young children. I'm talking about a case where police discovered Frankie's emaciated children, her 10 year old daughter. Her 12 year old son. They were found in Hildebrandt's residence. And in fact, the boy had suffered deep lacerations. There was even evidence that he had been tied up. Holy shit. You got this idiot, this guy named Wyatt, we covered a few months back. He thought he was too famous to be arrested. No, not too famous. He was. What in the heck did I just see from that thumbnail? You know what? We're going to let this. It's a big giant douchebag. Right, so a couple things can happen right now. Um, I just listen to him. What we want to do, we're going to swap the handcuffs and put her handcuffs on you but also all your expensive jewelry and stuff because we want to make sure that nothing bad happens to your stuff. Once it goes down to jail, that's somebody else handling it. We'll put it in safekeeping here. It's going into an evidence locker until you come back to pick it up. Okay? Why do I have to go to jail? Wow, we've gone over that like three times. You pistol off the guy over the head with a gun. You got cinnamon toast can covered What? It, uh I have never heard of that one. I have never heard of that one at all either. His stool whipped up with a gun. God dang, man, it was vicious. A, a girl that ruined her career with a DUI, allegedly. I'm not sure. I didn't watch the video. I didn't do any research. How her? Yeah. Yeah, that you crashed into just now. Me? Yes. <laughs> How much have you had to drink tonight? Um. 
Today, we're going to be talking about a content creator known as One Ye, a wholesome creator, genuinely a wholesome creator that I like myself, and I've seen a lot of his content. I never heard of him at all, so let's see. By like, I don't mean like. He's trying to get that last Pringle, bro. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy him a lot, and I go out of my way to watch him. But I've seen his stuff, and it's it's always good stuff. Bro, why you still got your socks on, man? What? Why you why you taking your socks off, right? Man, I know you ain't ashamed of your feet. Man, show them cords, bro. Stop letting other people make you uncomfortable in your own skin. Show them bunions, bro. Show them bunions. I want to see them. He found himself in the midst of a controversy following the news of his arrest for a very unwholesome reason. It's ironic because he's a wholesome creator. Try to stand up without careful, falling over. Be careful. And then I'm ready to take on the day. You look beautiful. One year is better known as Angry Reactions. He's amassed 28 million followers. 28 million. God dang. Followers on TikTok for his wholesome react videos. Don't ever tell me I'm ugly. Girl, who said you was ugly? You beautiful. Cause you, bitch, is you blind? Period. What he's saying never matches his face or tone or the general vibe of what you, 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 the implication is that he's angry and he reacts to something, but he's quite supportive of the content that he reacts to. It's an interesting twist. It's a, it's a really, it, he's made a whole career off of it. It's impressive, honestly. You can not like the way I look. Who don't like the way you look? Dress. But there's no need to continuously comment on it. Who? Oh! To say there's no way I could be married. Who oh, said yes for 12 years? Who's oh, saying to, this? To say happily? Yes, happily. Don't cry. Don't you cry. Dress like that every day? Yes, I dress what brings me joy. Who's making these <laughs> comments? Yes, Point them out. One example, one of his first viral videos ever was his reaction. What, what what is TikTok? This is why I don't really go on TikTok, but do follow my TikTok and also make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe here and go follow my YouTube. All the same name, Luna Fang. Uh, let's get right back into the video. Action to a cake. In this video, a girl's talking about her life while decorating a cake and saying how she doesn't like it when people leave mean comments on her videos. She's like, oh, you know, I, I understand whenever people put themselves up on the internet that they're opening themselves up to the hate and criticism or whatever, but I'm just sensitive. People are telling her that her cakes look like shit, etc., etc. He gets angry, says it's gorgeous, and offers other positive affirmations for this for this young person. Hi, guys. Here's another cake decorating video, and can I start off by saying, can y'all, like, not be mean to me? Like, Who be mean to you? Gonna, are people always... Who? We'll say shit like, oh, if you're a creator, if you make content, you have to expect hate. Like, you can't get mad about it, whatever. But, like, I'm sensitive, y'all. You tell me my cakes look like shit. Yeah, it's Who said like, your like, cakes look like shit? Being... I'm gonna be honest. Whoever told her that was telling the truth. And if you like that, if you literally come out saying that you're sensitive, it, it ain't gonna help. It's just gonna make it worse. More people, more, more people is gonna be like, oh, yeah, like, I mean, let me go mess up, say that her stuff is trash so I can get a reaction. And maybe I have my comment to be in the next video or something like that, all right? You got people that actually will do that. And then also, I mean, I mean, let's be real. It, it's not it's not for the faint of heart. So if she already make it stuff like that, I mean, you might as well either just don't launch it at all or just stop doing it because let's be real. It, it's people are not going to be nice. This is the Internet. We 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 all know how the Internet is. Point them out! Comments. I hope you know that, that, cake look good. that video was posted in August of 2020 and has 60 million views, 12 and a half million likes. So you know, it went pretty viral. He posted two other videos the same day he made that account with similar premises. And don't touch them like that! One, oh! Two, oh! Three, oh! Three, oh. He go! He go! I told you! Which really boils down to reacting to popular TikToks with an angry face while offering positive affirmations. It's really interesting stuff. Please kick him. He's already annoying me. Please kick- oh, Stop being rude! Right. Let him sing! Yeah! 
It's gotten him very, very, very far. He got 1 million followers in one day. Huh? What? Off of three videos, bro? Three videos? I just made this account yesterday. That's gotta be fing crazy because allegedly at the time he was a home. How in the heck can I be like that? Do I just need to be mad at everything now? What? Homeless and living out of his car, which is what he said in interviews. We don't really know if that's exactly true, but he got interviewed by Dixie D'Amelio, and she is a fing unbelievably boring interviewer. Holy shit. I feel like. You have brought so much positivity on TikTok. Thank you. How did you start? Well, <laughs> the crazy story about like how I started, even though I delivered nothing but positivity, I was actually in a very negative place in my life uh, at the moment. You know, I was homeless living in my car, like my first video. I always been a positive person. You know, I never let any tough situations, you know. Yeah. break my character so since this big blow up back in 2020 this man has uploaded 600 i'm really trying to figure out what the heck did he do 14 times and he has some of the craziest reactions you could ever witness as well as some positive affirmations he offers to voters whoa wait pins have balls on them i never knew that's how a pin worked that's what I told you, the ball pin! It makes so much sense now! Bro, I found this out in like, like uh, I think it was middle school, cause like, I just like, I was messing with a pin and I actually plucked the ball out and then like, most of the pins start leaking, like, most of the ink start leaking out, but then after that, I was like, oh, I didn't know they had these, but that makes sense. We we never really went away from the, the, the habit it in. It's just that it's automatic down to a point. Whoa! I never knew that came out and looked drops like this. It looks so crazy up close. Yeah, so he's a bit over the top, I think. You know, it's fair to say that that's, that's content that might be made for children. I don't know, though. I'm not exactly sure. TikTok seems like a lot of it is children-based. Us YouTube viewers have much higher IQs. Uh, that is the in intelligence quotient. Am I right, fellow Mensa heads? <sighs> Regardless, man, it's got to be crazy to, to blow up, come, come, you know, start with nothing and then end up with 28 million followers. It's pretty baller. It's pretty baller. He's got a bunch of brand deals, too, from all this stuff. He's made posts sponsored by Chipotle. What the Whoa. fuck's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Eat that 445. Deal roulette with Amazon. Oh, my gosh. I know you did that. Just, so what? All right. Amazon deal roulette. I don't know what this is, but who's it for? It's for the Amazon delivery driver. What is it? Snow shoes, so he can deliver his packages. Why? Because we're related. Who? Who? Who was related to? Uh, me and the Amazon driver were related. Really? Yeah. Is that your dad? He married my cousin, who's also my cousin. Is that your dad? Oh. He's a to-be partner, which is cringe. Just kidding, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just like to say mean things sometimes. His positivity was absolutely infectious, and the dichotomy of that between his angry stature and his uh, his positive affirmations, it, it led him to getting 6 million view viewers, subscribers, followers within a month and a fucking half of creating his account. That's insane. It's taken me 10 years years of hell to get five million and i've considered deleting my channel so many times because i've had i've pivoted like five times and i've made different shit in his celebration to be honest i feel right there with him. i ain't there yet but like i have this i have the same thoughts sometimes y'all let me know if i should for that in video where he hit six million he talked a bit about his past growing up in chicago being one of 10 children to a disabled father who did his absolute best to raise him. And honestly, I mean, you know, it's pretty much just been positive things that I've said here, and we're leading into some really dark shit that happened very recently. And I don't want to make it seem like, you know, I'm immediately forgiving this this guy for everything he's done, but he has absolutely had a positive influence on a lot of people. And the content that he's made is 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 positive. It's it's good, solid stuff. It's 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 very cringe. Uh, you know, a lot of it. He asked you to put me on the back of his head? Let me get this straight. He walked into your shop, showed you a picture of me, and said, put this on the back of my head. That's what happened? I'm a hairdo. 
He seems genuine, but it's like, I don't know. Let's see. The dude's a legend though. 28 million followers now and he's friends with D'Amelio's TikTok royalty. In the interview with Dixie, he talked about how so, her <laughs> father- Wait, no, Hank, that is one of the most funniest things I've ever seen, bro. They invited him over and how the whole family was, was following him, which is cool, I guess. So God, when dang. was your first time to LA? Um, actually the first time I came to y'all house. Really? That was literally like my second day in LA. I had came the day before. And it's just crazy how everything happened. Your dad hit me up on um, TikTok. This mm -hmm. was the day I found out all of y'all was following me for some reason. <laughs> he was like, if you ever in LA, you can come over for dinner. I'm like, ain't that a coincidence? <laughs> and really the reason we're outlining all this uh, up until this point is to showcase just how high Wanye got, how high angry reactions got. So, I mean, he's fallen very, 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 very hard. Okay. And not just from what happened recently, but also, uh, you know, he made a video late 2023. He was frustrated with his videos not being pushed to his followers. He's been getting less views. TikTok don't prioritize their creators, bro. Every other app do except TikTok. And I think that's the problem. I mean, I don't know why he's complaining. He gets a lot of fucking views. Maybe he's just like he's yeah. getting less or something. This shit's insane. I mean, there's like I'm nothing sorry. in this video at all. It has 1.7 million sure views. It's just him that? looking at a comment. The f wish I could do that shit. God damn. That's what I was saying, bro. Nobody loves me. Maybe I need to work on positive affirmations. <laughs> I'll start with myself. In this video from late 2023, he, it's, you know, it's sort of disconnected from reality. He, he says that this is the reason why he's not posting frequently and why other large creators are not posting frequently is because TikTok doesn't show the videos to the to the audience. It's how it works. That's how making stuff online works. The audience is the algorithm. They watch what they want to watch. If you continue to do the same shit for years, people will get really tired of it. For example, on YouTube, my channel, not all my videos get 5 million views. In fact, almost none of them do. That's just kind of how it is for most people. It's like 10%. Of, of your viewership, generally speaking. I mean, he himself has, has just been gifted with so much luck, like many TikTok people have, and that just kind of continues to happen. So it's reasonable that new creators will just come up and come up and come up. And if TikTok sees a creator just kind of doing the same old shit, they'll just evolve past it, you know, or whatever. Maybe they moved on to different platforms, whatever it may be. But anyways, this is the least of Wanye's worries now because uh, he was recently arrested on February 18th for alleged domestic violence, felony domestic violence. Oh, no. Okay, all right, let's we get into it now. TMZ reported on it. No Jumper tweeted it. Several media outlets reported on this when it first dropped. And I was very surprised because I have been... Yeah, I've seen this guy for a long time. He makes good, solid, positive videos. The reactions are undoubtedly cringe. You guys saw part one. You'll see him getting broken up with today. By who? Break about fit. Who breaking up with you? And this boy said he was going to marry me. He even broke up with me before. Who oh, broke up with again. you? He loved me so Point him out! So That's tough that she actually believed that from him, though, but we know it. I'm just trying to get Oh, you look there. good! Looking like a bad bitch, because if I'm going to get dumped, I might as well look good. But it's like, it's not bad content. It's just, it's just out there. It's just mush. That's, that's good. It's overall good. Better than what I make. TMZ initially reported that Wanye and a woman who remains unnamed were having a verbal argument in a hotel in Burbank, California that turned physical. And that was back on the 12th, nearly a week before the media caught wind. He was arrested on the 12th. The woman involved did not require any medical attention, which is good. Wanye was still booked on a domestic violence charge, fell in a domestic violence charge, and was released after paying a $50,000 bail. We noticed that actually in the New York Post post about this that they said the extent of the woman's relationship with the social media star is unknown but on the arrest report that they provided in the bottom left it says domestic violence boyfriend arrested 273.5a which is a, a penal code it's basically it's corporal injury to spouses roommates or co-parents so boyfriends People who aren't married, basically. People have to spend time together who aren't married, essentially. Yes, I am an attorney, lawyer, etc. So all things considered, it seems that Wanye and the woman that is involved in this altercation are very familiar with each other. There are people that are within the same vicinity on a consistent basis, which becomes more evident in his response video that he made to this entire situation that we'll cover very soon. But before he responded, the internet would obviously respond. I want to make it very clear that this is an allegation. He's not been convicted of anything. The woman who was involved did not require any medical attention. Thank God, obviously. So it seems like nobody at the end of the day is hurt. Emotional trauma, whatever, that's to be judged later on. We'll see in court. Absolutely, I believe everything will come out that needs to come out. But 
But right now, this is obviously serious enough for him to be arrested for fucking felony domestic. Yeah, if it's serious enough, then yeah, it got to be looked into it. That is the best free stream I've ever seen in my life. But if it's serious enough, yeah, like, yeah, but like, if there's not like hardcore, hardcore evidence, then like, we can't just straight say that he did it or not. We we still need the law to do the law's work. That's violence and released on $50,000 bail. That's terrible. That's a lot. That 50000 I mean, that's probably nothing for him. But God, dang, that's a lot. You know what I could do with 50000 Okay, but at the same time, innocent until proven guilty. People were making pretty obvious jokes. Bro had an angry reaction, followed by four crying laughing emojis and two loving emojis, and that is One Piece number one fan. Thank you, One Piece number one fan. Bro let his angry reactions out. Angry react. Okay, what's up with both of those back to back, bro? Like they both had whatever the heck that was in the like profile picture. Actions finally had an angry reaction. <laughs> Twitter felt the exact same way. Social media influencer Wanye Johnson, better known as Angry Reactions, has been arrested for felony domestic violence. His name ain't gonna help this case. His name <laughs> suits him. He does look quite angry. Now on to his video addressing these allegations. He made a YouTube video and quite frankly, you know, it's uh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad and it's tough and it's really important to remember innocent until proven guilty until the, fu the full story, you know, because there is always rationality that needs to be. Yeah, I follow the law of is one side, just the other side and it's the truth. And the truth will always shared the light of their side. So you just gotta wait for that to come out. Directed into these. Sort so I go give like a final verdict on like, unless like I need, I need the truth to be shown, evidence, all that. And then once all that is good, then we, we can figure out who that, what the heck happened and who is like, if he had fault, if he died at fault, and yeah. Sorts of things because this guy could have his entire life ruined feasibly by a lie. It has happened before. Is this the case? No. Obviously, it's not. There is absolutely some reason to deeply investigate this, and that's what I'm saying we should let happen. Before I'm gonna say, you know, dude, bro, is evil, and whatever, we'll, we'll see. We gotta see what happens. He posted this on YouTube and also on his TikTok. It has almost 3 million views now on his TikTok. Maybe even four, I think, last time I checked. He starts the video by talking about all the comments, pages, and articles being posted about him and his character. I know y'all been seeing what's going on with me. All the news articles, all the pages posting me. All the comments, all the TikTok videos people making about me destroying my character. I see it just like y'all see it, right? I want to start this video off right. He clarifies that domestic violence is not a joke, which is really good. And after seeing people mock him saying angry reactions finally had an angry reaction, he states he knows the majority of people are trying to just be funny. But he says that this is a serious thing, which is absolutely true. I don't think domestic violence is funny in the slightest. I see the comments, right? Oh, angry reactions, finally had an angry reaction. I get it. Some of y'all is kids and some of y'all just trying to be funny, but this is something that's happening in real life for me. He says that this is a felony case for some reason, but he cannot say too much. This is where it gets confusing to me because it's like, man, that's a felony case. That's gotta be, there's gotta be a lot of information here that we're not keyed in on. This is a felony case Facts. for some reason. So I can't tell y'all too much about what happened, but I'm gonna give y'all the detail I feel like y'all need to know. He states in the situation he was hit by a woman and then he defended himself and this bit of defense is what landed him in jail with a felony domestic violence charge. This was a situation of me getting attacked from a woman and defending my- I was being attacked by a woman and the slightest bit of defense Landed me in jail. He then states that the woman who was hitting him even didn't want him to go to jail. She was defending him, but it happened anyway. I don't know why everything happened the way it did. I don't know why it's a felony case, because once the cops showed up, she didn't even want me to go to jail. She was. See, so like after that, let's say like say like like that is true what he said. I mean, like. And it's not really, it's not really like anybody's decision, but the cop's decision at the end of the day when it comes to something like that. Cause they can have the, the they have the overall authority to be like, yo, you know what? Nah, we still gonna bring a man or we still gonna bring you in for this. So that's, that he, that's why he ended the way he ended. No matter if both parties say no, it doesn't matter. The cop can have this final rule. I was begging them not to take me to jail, but it happens anyway. He states that after this, he lost friends, sponsors, endorsements, and more in just 24 hours off an accusation which this isn't exactly true it's not just an accusation he did go to jail for felony domestic violence so there's obvious and let's say that like it was because like he was getting hit i mean i'm gonna be honest it's like 
it, it's even two things you do, right? It's even two things you do. And it, it all depends. Like, it, it's different. It's different levels to this, right? Like, if it wasn't really hurting, bro, just walk away. Just, just get out of there. But, like, if his life, if he felt like his life wasn't threatened, then he had to do what he had to do. That That's how I see it. Like, it, like, like, I was sorry. Right. Me personally, if somebody coming at me, no matter who it is, like, they have, let's say, like, a knife or something like that. They're, they, they ain't walk, one of us walking out, bro. And it's going to be me. That's all I'm going to say. But like, like at the end of the day, like if it wasn't like life threatening type of like situation, you could just th th just get out of there. Just get out of there as fast as you can, so you don't even have to deal with this. You don't gotta go to court. You don't gotta have to worry about lawyer fees and court fees and all this other stuff. You don't gotta worry about a fifty thousand dollar fine. Oh my gosh, that's still a lot of money. That thing. And like you could just you could just go on with the rest of your life. But if if you felt like your life was at danger, like you like you you had to like you feel like you was your life was threatened, then at that point you gotta do what you gotta do. Cause I'm sorry, but like like tools, like knives and and guns, that that puts everybody on an equal playing field. Cause anybody can use that, and that can then anybody, no matter how strong you are or how weak you are. So I say, as long as it's not life threatening, bro, just 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 hurry up and walk away. That that's usually that's how I would like do it. But that's just me because that that's just that's just me. I mean, that's all I can say. <laughs> it's just me. Obviously, something that happened. I don't lost friends. I don't lost endorsements. I don't lost sponsors. I don't lost a lot of things in these past twenty four hours. All off of an accusation. Once again, innocent until proven guilty. That is not how the internet operates. You are doomed if anything like this happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The internet is, is guilty to proven innocent. But then people don't really care about the innocence. So it's just like guilty. It's straight guilty. Regardless of how it happens, you are f***ed, basically. Unless you yeah. can be epically exonerated and have a massive court case that you televise and have Asmongold react to. I mean, it could be it could be good. Hey, Asmongold, react to my react. No, this flame. I never could freeze flame. I am on point today. But anyway, other than that, yeah, yeah, to be honest, yeah, that's about the only thing that probably has me out. The other way, but at some point, you're going to get f***ed. He's upset that with all the positive content that he's pushed into the world that no one gave him the benefit of the doubt. There's a bunch of videos and comments of people calling him out. And, and as you can see, I'm visibly frustrated because Here's, here's how everything play in my mind. All the positive content I push out into this world and I couldn't even get the benefit of the doubt. People immediately crucified me. Yeah, that's the way the internet, they don't care how positive you are. They may like your content because you're positive, but after that, they like, I mean, they hear one bad thing, they're like, oh yeah, right, that's, that's a bad person. No, 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 get up out of here. They don't, they don't care about no evidence or nothing. Bro. Before, they even fi before they even found out what actually happened. And I just find that so allegedly what actually happened. We still don't know all the full details. We, we would need the evidence. We would need the other side to come out. And then, yeah, mainly to be honest, is evidence. Like if the person came out, I was like, yeah, that didn't happen. This will happen. And like, uh, like they both had the same story. Then maybe it's like, all right, maybe this did happen. Maybe this didn't happen. But then it still goes on the longest. Like if it was life turning or not, like I said, if it is. Then, I mean, he said a little bit of, I, what is a little bit? Like, that's not, because everybody have different levels of force. Like, some people could think, I don't know, like, beating somebody up to a pulp is, like, a little bit of force versus, like, you know, killing, all right? So, it, it, it all depends. It all depends on what happened, how it happened, and we don't, we just don't have that information yet. Maybe when, like, if he go to court for this, maybe when a court case come up, then maybe we'll get that information. But till then, we, we, we don't got it. Crazy. I think that's insane. He then says that even the people who came to his defense in the comments are just attacked, <clears throat> saying that if you want to defend him or, or, or hear him out, that you're just a, a, a defender of a woman abuser, which is, you know, another probably healthy mindset to maintain because statistically speaking, women get abused a lot, right? Yeah, but you can't really say that for anybody that's defending one person. I mean, like I said, I just care about the facts, bro. I, I, don't, I don't really care, like, about who's true for this is my story or side. No, I, I don't care, bro. I just care about the facts. When the facts come out, and if the facts is certain things, it's like, all right. If the facts are certain things, it's like, okay. Like, if the facts are one thing, then all right. The facts are another, then all right. But, like, like I said, my bottom line about it is if it, like, wasn't life threatening, he could have just walked away. I'm gonna be honest. But if it was, if it was life threatening, then, I mean, he said, I, that's, that's for them to decide what they're going to act with that, bro. But at the same time, 
burning and strangling. Who the wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. One in four women and one in seven men have been victims of several physical violence. E E E G I never understand why they just came with EX, bro. Example being burning, strangling by an inmate. Oh, in the mint and and whatever partner in their lifetime. So what's up with the burn? Wait, people are burning people. What the heck? Yeah, I don't want a relationship, bro. I I'm just like, it. fuck, man. You got to be innocent until pro proven guilty. But people like are like that. Guys. People, it sucks. It's an. It's this is a very very unfortunate situation. But people, not but for like people to ask. There's no way. I mean, that's no way. It's obviously it's like recorded. But why the heck? Oh, there was some mentally insane people with you sitting there burning. Earning like why? Why who would do that? What the that's so weird. That is so weird. Flood of my DMs. Oh, you hit women. You're a woman abuser. You're a woman. People, I see people come to my defense like, hey, let's wait until we find out what actually happened before we cast judgment. And people in their comments like, oh, so you're defending a woman abuser? Excuse me? Where did it say that at? Is he I mean, me personally, I just want facts, bro. That's all I care for is facts. That's how I live my life, to be honest. It's literally facts. Like, if it's not facts, rude. I mean, it's not no facts. That it, I, I, how the heck am I supposed to believe it? Because I mean, but we are. I mean, cause he said, uh, like, he said a little bit of force. That's what's getting me. It's like, what is a little bit of force? Like, did you just like move her to the side? Did you shove her? Did you push her? Did you did you actually hit her? Did you, could you have walked away? Could you have just said whatever and just, like moved on about your married day, leave and just don't talk to that person ever again? Because obviously, if they hit you in the first place, you might as well just leave. Or was it that that didn't happen at all? And like he actually was the like aggressor. Like it's it's so many things that's going through my mind right now. I, I don't know. I guess I think of things in uh. I want to say the court of law because the court of law don't really care for factual evidence like that either. Like what? I think it's like beyond a reasonable doubt, but like that that doesn't happen most of the time anyway. I just say it's I just like facts, bro. So uh, I do I do everything I do everything to come out. You you was there? You know what happened? At four minutes fifty eight seconds, he said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bro, man, I was about to beat up the camera, bro. That's crazy. He says that anyway. he's innocent and isn't what everyone is painting him as, which that's, you know, means absolutely nothing. That's his opinion. I just had to let y'all yeah. know the truth. I'm innocent. I'm not what everybody think I am or or trying to paint this narrative that I'm this woman. See, we need the other side to come out. Or like the cops, like if the cops have like evidence that we need, we need evidence out too as well. Why do though? Why do though? Abuser, or I'm so abusive. I'm not that. I'm not that. That is what a lot of people who commit crimes say, unfortunately. So that essentially means nothing. It has been a lot of bank robbers that say they're not bank robbers, by the way. I just want to let y'all know that. They get caught in the act and they be like, I don't do that. What do you mean? So that is true. That's true. Because why would anyone admit to like a crime? They most nine, nine times out of ten, they not. Unless they just know that it's over with and they already know the evidence is piled up against them. Then they'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah, I robbed that that that, that bank, bro. What, what, what about it? So, you know. I think luckily we have a justice system that will get to the bottom of it. Hopefully, I believe. I believe burden of proof. Please, come on. Come on. Don't let us down here. He then says, this is no way they wouldn't, right? This, this definitely should be something that they definitely would be looking into, right? I believe they will. I believe they get the evidence and the information. And then I don't know if they're going to make it public or not. Probably not. But other than that, I do believe that. They definitely should look into this and find out whatever information you need. And we know by the verdict of what is handed down. I, I'm pretty sure he still could go to jail. Like if it's found out true, he definitely probably would go to jail for that. Right. I, I don't think he just get like a fine again or not at all. I, I don't know how this works. I, I never looked it up because I, I, I just never looked it up. I, I never was in this before. As he didn't even know that this many people knew who he was. Vine sound effect. But I had everybody flood my comments. Oh, you beat women. You beat women. You're a woman. I used to like you. I knew it was something. I knew it was something off about everybody. I didn't even know this many people knew who I was. Bro, okay, that's cap. Now that's cap. We all know that's cap. You can hit millions of views. You got so multi millions of subscribers. You don't know who you. Oh, nobody. You didn't. Nobody didn't know who you were. Bruh. Stop, stop, stop the cap with that, bro. I don't know. That's like Jeff Bezos being like, oh, I didn't know people knew I was a billionaire. I'm like, oh, excuse me? If it's a good idea to throw the vine boom in there, to be honest, my friend. 
Even the Uber kicked him out. Mine sound right. Bro, I lied to you not. I Anchor. called the Uber. I called the Uber today and then he kicked me out. He, I, bro, I'm not joking. I'm not trying to be funny. Uh, none of that. The Uber driver kicked me out. Everything you, I mean, that's his car, so he could do whatever the heck he want. Like, so that, that, I mean, that's, that's just tough. That's just an ill coat, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like, the Uber driver can do whatever he wants. Is his car? If you don't want somebody that is accused of that in his car, then obviously he's not gonna let you in his car. And if he do, and you're like, all right, whatever. But like, obviously he didn't want that. You worked for so hard for four years is just being ruined in a day because of false allegations. At least that's what he's claiming. I see what's happening. See, I'm not calling it false allegations. And I'm going to call it allegations because the only side we're hearing right now is his. And we don't know the other person's side and we don't know the cop side either because they all they did was arrest him. I don't think anything came out for like information. If it would, I'm pretty sure Umpaville would have reported it, right? So at right now, we don't, don't know what happened. I mean, we're just hearing one side of the story, which I'm not going to believe in the first place. Now, I say what, what people probably should do. Like, I'm going to be honest. If you like getting smacked like that, bro, just walk away. You know, I, I don't matter. If it's a male or female, just walk away. It, now, if they like threaten your life, then that's a different story. You have to do what you got to do to defend your life to make sure you stay alive. But if it's not, then you walk away because it's way easier. to just get out of it. It's way simpler. to just get out of there. And it's way like it, it costs you way less to just walk because you, you already walk all your life. You All you got to do is just, just use them two steps, get straight to the door, get out of there and be done be be done with it gone and then you don't gotta worry about none that is ever happening you just you could have still made your angry content videos or whatever the heck that supposed to be and then you could have still made your multi millions because i don't got thing well for that many he he was making meals he he probably had at least a meal or two so but i mean i ain't gonna cast judgment yet because i don't have all the evidence so i can't cast judgment yet so right now all i just hear is the just being thrown around until the facts come smack people in the face with a i don't know um how did they use in cartoons a, a hammer i guess a hammer to my reputation i see it I everything that i worked hard for for four straight years is crumbling right before my own eyes and that's how it works on the internet. It gets you there one day, it as easily can get taken away the next. He's upset, and it makes sense why he'd be upset, especially if what he is saying is the truth. It's perfectly reasonable. There is a large community of people who are attacking him before even hearing the case. He was arrested for felony domestic violence. That's bad. There's yeah, obviously that's bad. things that need to be explained. Because that means they have, they gotta have at least some evidence. Like, there's no way that they can put it going to a felony charge or I have evidence they gotta have at least some kind of evidence that that happened now how did it happen and what happened who knows because again we don't we don't have all the evidence hopefully the, the cops will get all the evidence and if it gets put to the public it's put to the public if it don't it don't that's I don't I don't know what happened at that point and, and evidence that needs to be shown, etc. He then has an actual angry reaction, yelling at people who are confident that he's the bad guy when they weren't even there and they didn't even witness this. How can you speak so passionately about something you wasn't there to witness, bro? He then says he knows the passion and frustration in his voice isn't going to be helping his case much, but he didn't want to fake that he wasn't upset. He's trying to be honest. He's trying to appear genuine. I already know to some people, the passion I have in my voice right now and the frustration I have is not going to help my case. I already understand that, right? But I don't want to come here and, and, and phony kick it or fake like I'm not upset and try to talk soft and like, bro, no, I'm trying to be as real as I physically can. I don't know how to be anything else. And it's very frustrating how my name is being dragged through the mud right now. It's, it's very frustrating. The comments on this video seem relatively supportive, which makes sense because it's the first time any context is- I just realized, why the heck do we have a headset on? I mean, I know I got a headset on right now, but like, you know, we're, we're reacting, but why did he have a headset on? Is that, is there, is there a reason for that? Can anybody tell me the reason for that if they do know that? It's given to just like a, you know, a headline, a news headline, some kind of media content nonsense. He did respond quickly, which I think is probably good, and that's a smart move. But in this video, he didn't really talk about how the fact that he was indeed arrested. He was actually arrested for this. And that $50,000 bail, that's f***ed up.
Nope. And the reference to the penal code is corporal injury to a spouse, which is bad. And that's a the act of violence, domestic violence. That's pretty terrible. In regard to this penal code, yeah. it says that in order for someone to be convicted of this crime, it basically can't be in self-defense. It cannot be you getting hit and then hitting back. That's not what this penal code yeah, so if that's the penal code, that means that do mean that he probably he had to start at first. Then there's no way they would be able to charge that penal code unless he's unless they have evidence that he started first. Now we just need that evidence to come forth. Would be so he said that he was hit and then he hit. Plus the injury has to result in a traumatic condition and she never was treated for her wounds. And according to him in his response, the woman involved in all of this is going to state this as fact that he did act in self defense. So. We'll see. Cause once the cops show, yeah, yeah, we 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 will see. Cause, like, what? It, it sounds weird. Like that whole incident. Like, like, it's, you got a book for that when that happens, but he's saying that it's something else. But then we don't have both sides of the story, so we don't know what actually happened from both two sides. But then the facts will have to come out. Also, that show like did this happen? Did this not happen? It's, it's man showed up. She didn't even want me to go to jail. She was begging them not to take me to jail. And that's to be easy to prove because I'm pretty sure all cops now have body cameras. And if they release that footage, that at least that definitely should be easy to prove. But I don't know if all I see it. Let me let me recorrect that. I don't know if all cops have body cameras. Most do. I don't know if all of them do. And if they if all of them do do, then I mean, <laughs> anyway, if all of them do, then that'd be easy to like do. Right. But if not, then it's going to be kind of harder. It's going to be way harder because like, bro, that, that means we have to take your word for it. I ain't taking nobody word for this, bro. If everything happens how it's supposed to, and we're led to believe Except he should cops, just be free got, to walk. But if he doesn't they come out as innocent, he's going to go to jail. Felony case yeah. up for four years. Wow. So he do go to jail. I, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. I was like, do they recharge or do they not recharge? Like, they re so they do recharge up to four years. That's kind of messed up. I'm going to be honest. This should be a little bit higher than that. But, you know, okay, whatever. Oh, that's pretty bad, man. And that's without great bodily injury. So if it is confirmed, oh, without, he's okay. going to jail. He ruined his career absolutely 100%. But if he's not going to jail, then this will be a really interesting scenario. This situation is absolutely fucking insane. I'm not sure who he's referencing when he says that he's lost friends. I understand why brands wouldn't want to have any sort of association with allegations the like this, but I'm gonna be honest. with, you know, they friends like and stuff, heavy, you should bro. be able to explain. Usually friends aren't really there dependent on your, like, public brand or image. I don't really know. Maybe these aren't friends. And once again, it seems like a lot of his kind of content creator friends problem audience does believe him and they are kind of supporting him and you know the, the his youtube video has very few dislikes at the end of the day we have no way of knowing exactly what happened because there's very little bit of uh information out there aside from what yeah. we see in the new york times and tmz and then his response we haven't seen a response from the the woman involved hopefully she's doing fine she never went to the hospital maybe someone saw them having a, a fight and then they called the police and then they had to arrest him because he's the He's the, you know, the more dangerous character out of the two, generally. Which that do happen sometimes. Now, it, like, let's, like, let's not act like that it don't. That do happen sometimes. Like I said, the police have the ultimate decision to take, like, if, if both parties say no, police still can say, well, we're still going to take this person in. Speaking, this could explain why one Ye was describing the even the woman that he's accused of abusing was begging the cops to not arrest him and she's going to be on his side in, in court. I don't really know how you could be arrested if you decided if you decide to drop charge. I don't know how that works. I don't really know how that works. It's important to understand that California and Mexican laws make it a crime to threaten or harm an intimate partner, spouse, or domestic partner. Therefore, the allegation victim cannot drop the Mexican charge even if they change their mind or once someone calls police, the decision is to arrest the person for the Mexican violence arrest with the police officer response to the call. See, I told you, I knew it. I knew it was right. I I, I knew because like I I heard this from some it was some other case, but I think I don't think it was a YouTuber, it was some other case that I watched. And like they said, I was like, oh stop, that's actually true. And I looked it up, and I was like, oh, it's actually true. So yeah, I knew I did know that. Yeah, once the police come, once you call them. It's up to them to decide if you're if somebody on somebody they're going to jail or not. And they have to pick somebody. Obviously, they're gonna pick the most dangerous person first. So obviously that's how it, that's how it works in most like most places. Obviously get worse there in California. I'm not sure if everywhere around the world, I'm pretty sure it don't, but in most places I'm pretty sure it works that same way for this type of crime. So I'm excited to see how this all plays out though, but this is a massive story though. Dude has 28 million fucking followers. 
I have uh, yet to dang 28 million followers. This is a good this is a good story, bro. I mean not not a story. This is a good video. Make sure I go follow Hoopaville. Make sure you like, so comment, and subscribe but the me. But other than that, uh my thoughts on it. I mean, we need the evidence to come out. I'm not about to just like straight say like this person did it or this person didn't do it. I I was not, I, I ain't one of them people, bro. I need the facts. And once the facts come out, that's when I make my decision on all right, this person is actually a horrible person for doing that. Or all right, this person is not a horrible person because he didn't do that and it was allegations the whole time. Now, uh, I mean, for his sake, he better ho he better hope he's telling the truth that it would that it it was like allegations. Me personally, like I said, if it was like me in this, I mean, to be honest, I'm just walking away unless it's like like right to my life. Then at that point, I'm out to act to make sure that I stay alive. But other than that, I would just dip, bro, because it's like legal fees cost way too much money to be doing. And first, second of all. It, People shouldn't be doing that in the first place. I mean, it's no point, right? When you could just walk away, drive and leave and never come back, never see that person again, block that person and everything. I'm being real with y'all. Like if somebody somebody do that, no matter who you are, man or woman, bro, just block that person, never talk to them again. Because obviously they don't have your best interest in mind. But anyway, I'm uh I'm gonna see y'all guys later. But you guys like, comment, subscribe again. Like always follow my Twitch at Luna. And I'm out. I see y'all in the next video. I, I, I don't know. Why is it ain't ending yet? Why are you still here? Go. I. Peace out, guys. I like.